Good morning. Headed back up Mike's Place Road. We had to fill up water at the water tanks. There's no more water for ten and a half miles. And I'm not feeling great. And neither is Roadrunner. Both of our noses are stopped up and throats are hurting. Seems like lots of people are trying to clear their throats a lot. I don't know if it's the dry air or what. But I'm already breathing hard and that was just a little bitty incline. So we'll have to see how today goes. Already talking about changing our plan a little bit. And maybe going to town before uh, we go up in elevation. We go from Paradise Valley Cafe. So we'll keep you posted. All right. It's a few minutes after 7. It seems we end up start walking right around 7. Pretty much no matter what. That's a good time. Uh, my breathing's not great. My nose is stuffed up. Not feeling overly strong this morning. Roadrunner's feeling the same or worse. Some other people around us have been blowing their nose all night too. I think it's either something in the air. Oh, we all just kind of got the, a cold. Um, either way, I think we're going to shift our plans around. Try to do 16 to 18 today if we can muster that. And give us either 8 or 10 the next day to Paradise Valley Cafe. And I think we're going to go ahead and go to Idlewild tomorrow for a Nero and a Zero. And maybe we can get better. Because that next that stretch of trail is uh, going to be the first real sketchy part. And we want to be feeling good and strong because we're going to attempt it, it looks like. So that's that for now. I'm going to try to get energetic and make this uh, a fun video today, but no promises. Okay. Oh my goodness, <coughs> we're up here on this peak because there's good cell service, trying to call to get hotels. I'm coughing, she's snotting and sneezing all over the place. <laughs> we're, st <laughs> we're, so sick. We're, st we're still laughing though, oh man. I think that's what said though. Um, that has to be. So, so far everywhere we've called in town is already booked or they're I not mean, open yet. Called. We called like one place. Well, it doesn't sound like it's a good thing so far. <laughs> we called one place that's, that's booked and he says everywhere. Well, I, okay, so I called one that's not open yet and you called, <laughs> a couple people told her like they'll call back later. So I, I don't know. That's the kind of runaround we got at the other place. I but that is not just into I don't know. It's pretty. Another glorious day in the mountains and there are some beautiful views. I'm going to zoom in and show you these snow-capped mountains. Peak Finder says it's Black Mountain, but Roadrunner says it's got to be San Jacinto and it must be just a different name. Because Baxter Peak yeah. is is what it's called on the Peak Finder. Right. It's not called Katahdin on it, so... Let's look at these cool mountains. Hold on, let me see. All right, let's cross the valley. And there's a whole line of snow covered over there. Yeehaw! All right, we have confirmed this is San Jacinto up in distance. All right, so good news to report. We were able to get accommodations in Idlewild for tomorrow night and the next night, Saturday and Sunday. So we'll try to do, I don't know, 16, 17, 18 today, and then leave the rest for tomorrow morning to Paradise Valley Cafe, and then we'll hitch into Idlewild from there. Hopefully we can get feeling better, get resupplied, and get showered and clean do real laundry the place we're staying looks to be pretty cool it's about a half mile outside of town but the owner will apparently take you to the laundromat to do your own laundry um and yeah we were able to get a spot so that's all that's important for now looking forward to some r and r and being clean all i want all i want for christmas is to be clean and to get rid of these sniffles.
Check out this lizard. First time I've seen one like this. That sucker's cool. It is seven minutes after 11 a.m. And I am one mile from the water source. So I have done like 8.8 .8 so far. Once I get to the water, I should be at about 9.8 by 11.30 a.m. And I'm assuming Roadrunner will be there because that's about where we would normally take a lunch break, especially since there's water and we're over halfway done with the, the planned mileage. So I'm ready for lunch. All right, Tool, Tool Spring or Tule Spring, quarter mile. I gotta go this way, a quarter of a mile to get water. All right, had about an hour break. Roadrunner was down by the water. Took her shoes off. Ate some food. And I'm breathing heavy today. I need to get rid of this cold. Um, I have to drink at least a liter down there. We're carrying four liters now because there was no more water until we get to Paradise Valley Cafe tomorrow. So that's about nine pounds of water. Um, but it was a good lunch spot. It was a little sunny, there wasn't a lot of shade. But nonetheless, got us off our feet for a bit. And I think we only have eight-ish miles to go, just depending on how far we go today. So we've been seeing all these cactus with, or cacti, with these little buds on the top. And I was just wondering, I wonder when those things are gonna open up. And I found the first ones. Look at this. How cool is that, a cactus with? Okay, here's the concrete system. It's actually right on trail. I thought you had to go off trail to get it. It didn't look very good. Kind of murky. All right, I knew that cistern was here, but we had heard that at least at some point there were dead animals in there. Um, there were people there filtering and said it was filtering clear, but it's hard to really see. Either way, we're carrying the water. There's only a few more miles to carry it, and I'm grateful today to have the clean, cold, clear water that we got. So, not sad about not using that murky cistern. So if you, any of you watch my Bartram Trail videos, you'll know my friend Hammer that I hiked the Bartram Trail with. He's also on the PCT. He started like basically the day after me. So he's been hiking with a guy named Geezer who's going for his triple crown with this trail. And I've been around Geezer the last few days and then Hammer is behind him. So we've only ran into each other very briefly in town the other day. Uh, but I had lunch with Geezer today and then he just passed me while I'm sitting here taking a break in the shade. And he said, dude, you just missed a rattlesnake. He showed me a video of a big rattler that just went right on the trail in front of him. So it must have gone right between us and I missed it. So I still haven't got to see one. Hopefully soon. Not too close, but I still want to see one. All right, little afternoon update. It's 3.45. We have gone 16.6 .6 trail miles. Plus we've done about almost another mile and a half of off trail for water and to get back to the PCT this morning. We are gonna meet somewhere around 16. Kind of see how we feel and gauge how far we wanna go from there. I haven't come up on a roadrunner yet, but hopefully I'll see her soon. My feet are killing me. I'm not sure why they're hurting really bad like they're hurting like they did late in my AT through hike 
probably because we're doing too many miles too quick, but everything else feels good, just my feet hurt. I also got a text from my dad a few minutes ago that said my ice axe was not gonna be delivered on time at PVC. We're gonna be there tomorrow morning. It was supposed to be delivered today. We'll be back there on Monday morning, early. So if it's not delivered today, I'm not sure if they deliver there on Saturday, so when I get some service or get to town, I gotta figure out what the deal is with my ice axe. But, if there wasn't a little adversity out here, it'd just be too easy, it wouldn't be fun, right? All right, I arrived. I found Roadrunner. We're done. <laughs> we are 7.8 out from Paradise Valley Cafe. We are going to cowboy camp next to this rock right here behind me. And um, that's it. I'll turn the camera around and show you this cool place, but I'm not getting up. Far too lazy for that. She's sleeping. <laughs> All right, slight change of plans. We sat there for a little bit. Quite a few people gonna camp there, it looked like. We went ahead and had our dinner and let my feet rest a little bit. I put a band-aid on a blister that I'm been nursing and we're gonna mosey along and see if we can get a few more miles in tonight, make our day tomorrow a little bit shorter. Right now we are 7.9 from the road, so if we can get a few more in tonight. We'll have a more of a Nero tomorrow and then a zero the next day. So bring it on. All right, pause your screen if you want to read that for a second. But if you're a hiker, be very cognizant of your behavior because you'll ruin it for everyone behind you. But you could do the opposite and make it better for everyone behind you if you just act right, y'all. All right, we made it to a campsite. It's a bit windy, but it's a great campsite. Got me all set up right here. The Roadrunner's right there. And then back over there, we finally saw Hammer. Like it took 11 days. We were set up here. We weren't here 10 minutes. And he came walking in. I was in my tent with it closed up and I heard him yell, it's you guys. So, I don't have anything else to say. Today was the day. Have a good night. See you tomorrow.